question today that really comes from Pembach information. Oh. And this question says, really, what are lessons learned? And are they valuable? What type of um, file program should I use even to create lessons learned? That's a really good question. You know, um, personally, I'm all for one um, of, you know, taking what you've learned and sharing it with other people so they don't make your same foolish mistakes. You know, if I worked on a project and I learned that something was done the bad way, I want to document it and I want to wave the, the hand and, you know, make everyone know I, I messed up in this area. Don't do it. You know, I ran into this roadblock and this is how I overcame it. Or I exhibited intelligence on a rare occasion. Hey, <laughs> make sure you do the same thing and uh, look sensible, be smart. The best way to get lessons learned is to ask people that have worked with you on the project, what did you experience when I did this? Or what did you experience in executing or when we implemented the software? Or what do you think you learned when we were training folks leading up to software implementation? Or what have you learned in this project so far? You could also ask vendors, how well did we manage this contract with you? So lessons learned do not just come from the PM, they come from a wide number of people, wide array of people, and it should be documented in a document that's easy to access. So you don't need any fancy tools. I mean, you may not even have SharePoint. You may just have a simple old notepad document, not even Word, you know. You might even just have a pen and paper. But the key thing is these lessons learned need to be documented and then cataloged. A lot of people, they document them and what happens, it gets chucked into a folder somewhere in the cloud that everyone forgets after a while, but it should be cataloged. And, you know, I would advise organizations watch it if you're a PMO director, um, maybe program manager, portfolio manager, you might want to think a lot about this thought-provoking question that Emily has um, taken today because um, a lot of firms lose out on equity. I tell people, it's your sweat equity. Lessons learned is your sweat equity. If you don't take these lessons learned, they're just going to waste. You know, it could be looked at as being solvent when you're getting into a project. You've got all these lessons learned, but if it's in the bank sitting down and you're not drawing on it, you're not drawing out on that money, you're losing out, you know. So lessons learned are very, very important. And in the world of the PMI, one of the key things you want your team to do before you send them away is get your team to help you extract those lessons learned, put them in a good old document, catalog it, make it accessible. Bill Gates talks about the digital nervous system. The few clicks of a button, you need to be able to access information such that bad news can travel from one part of the organization to another. How do you do that? It's lessons learned. You know, you open that document, you realize, oh my gosh, this particular vendor screwed up the project so badly. Why do we want to hire them again? Or why do we want to use them in this fashion? Okay, they are a sole source provider, but this is how someone else handled them to get a, a big bang for the buck, you know? So it goes beyond just documenting lessons learned and chucking them into a folder. You know, some firms, the PMO comes around and says, Phil, did you do your lessons learned? Yeah, I did them, here they are. But that's the end of the story. It shouldn't be the end. The end of the story should be, are they documented and cataloged and are they accessible like a digital nervous system? Well, thanks. We'd love to hear more questions. Please go to praiseon.com and send them to info at praiseon.com. Thank you.